What is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. As y'all can tell by the J.I. Galaxy above me, we are definitely inside of Vader, starting off this vlog right into the action. Let's go ahead and run that intro and get straight into it. Alright you guys, so I know you guys seen the title, you seen the thumbnail, and you're probably like, bro, what? Vader got flood damage? How the hell did Vader get flooded when you only leave the car in the garage? Like, how is that possible? And then you're probably also like, wait a minute, Vader got flood damage, but you're still driving the car? Like, what's going down? Like, J.I., what happened? So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of insight um, in this video. So let's just get straight into it. All right, you guys, I know y'all want to see the damage on Vader. I know, I know, I know. But there's something we got to talk about first, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. I'm pretty sure you guys already know what it is, so let's just talk about it. Bro, right here on the screen, I've been looking at the channel's analytics, bro, and oh my God, a lot of you guys are not subscribed to the channel and you're still tuning in with the vlogs. Now, I do very much appreciate you guys tuning in with the vlogs, tapping in, leaving comments, leaving likes, um, and just watching in general. 1000% from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. However, if you guys want to take the support to the next step, a little step further, if y'all could please do your boy a favor and hit the subscribe button that pops up on your screen whenever you look at my channel name or whenever you're watching these videos, it'll be on the right side of my name, right underneath the video. It'll say subscribe. You click on that joint and then it'll change and say subscribed the past tense. And then there'll be a bell notification that pops up right next to it. Go ahead and click that joint. Uh, there'll be a drop down and it'll let you check off all or certain. Just go ahead and hit all of them joints. So that way you're notified every time I upload a video or if I upload a short or if I make a comment in the community center, you know, giving you guys a on the spot update of something that's going on with either the channel or the car. You'll get a notification to your phone just like you do when you get a like on Instagram or when you get a text message from your mom or whatever the case may be, your girl, the your mans for the small portion of females that watch the channel, bro. But either way it goes, just please, 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 please do your boy a favor. Let's flip this little graph upside down and have it be way more people subscribed to watching the channel and less people not subscribed than more people not subscribed and less people subscribed. Please, it'll help your boy out more than you know. It puts me in the algorithm and therefore allowing me to get out to other people who haven't seen me before, which increases the chance of the channel growing. So please, 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 please hit that subscribe button and join the J.I. squad. Now let's get back to the video. Wait, man. So this right here is the damage in question, bro. As y'all can see, my seat has mold on it now and it's still growing um yikes all right you guys so to make a long story short bro basically i've had the interior out of my car for i want to say maybe like four months now literally four months straight the interior has just been sitting in hold on <laughs> but anyway, um, for literally like four months, the interior has been sitting inside the car, bro. I have not, I mean, sitting inside the garage. I haven't been riding with my interior in the car solely because you guys know we've been doing a lot of testing with RK, trying to get this car dialed in and, you know, get the tool finalized and everything like that. So with that being said, when I race the car, I take the interior out of the car, you know, for some minor weight reduction that does go a long way to be honest um so that being said since i was riding around with no interior in the car bro just full on race car mode bro i was like man you know what let me go like i don't know what it was but something was just telling me bro like 
just put the interior back in the car, bro. Just put the interior back in the car. Like, you're not racing right now. Like, you're not going to the track right now. So just put the interior back in the car. Like, you know, the drone from the AWE was crazy. You know, I do have the track axle back, so it's pretty much a straight pipe. So the drone is crazy. So I was just like, you know what? Whatever. I'll put the interior back in the car. Bro, I go to put the interior back in the car. As y'all can see, we got the rear seats in there. We got the passenger seat in there. And after I install the rear seats, I go to go do the passenger's front. I take the little clothes that I had over the over the chair, like to cover it, I take them off and I'm met with mold, bro, mold. So as y'all may or may not know, you know what I'm saying? The one of these do come with the Recaro seats and the Recaro seats are Alcantara. So I think what ended up happening was just the moisture from the humidity of the seats sitting in the garage at the JIHQ. I think that's what caused this issue. Now, how am I gonna fix it? So I did go ahead and I went on TikTok and I was like, yo, bro, like SOS, like to all my detailers out there, bro, get in with me, DM me or comment on this video and let me know like what I can do to get the mold out of my seats. Now, a whole bunch of people actually did come through with comments and they were telling me that I need to use a heat extractor um and a steamer to get the mold out because if i don't if i just wipe it off it's just gonna grow back over time so that being said we are actually going to be trying that not in this video probably in the next but i did want to upload this video to the youtube just to see if somebody on the youtube part of things has gone through something similar to this and could give me some insight on how y'all fixed it also, y'all can see we still got the side skirts off the car. I need to jack the car up and install the side skirts back on the car um, because I won't be wet sanding the side skirts anytime soon. Um, who knows? Maybe I will. I don't know, bro. Like At the moment, it's just like I hate how the car looks without the side skirts. But then again, I hate how the car looks with the side skirts on because the side skirts are so faded and all the other carbon is so new. It's like it throws it off a little bit. But yeah, man, um, if you guys didn't know, Houston got hit with a hurricane last week. I had no lights for the entire week, um, and my car was sitting in the garage the whole time. A little bit of water did get in the garage, but not where the seat was at. So that's why I was like kind of thrown off by the mold, but it is what it is, y'all. Um, other than that, the car is perfectly fine mechanically, physically, um, I guess looks wise as well. Like everything's good. Everything works. Everything's proper. Um, but we got mold on the seat. So that being said, y'all, I don't know how much more I'm going to put into this video. So I might end it here. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.